Hi folks, welcome back. Today I'm going to try to give you a reasonable explanation for what is the bit. The bit, the unit we use to measure computing data or data. Let's start it. When we do calculation or we simply count, we trust what we use the most of the time, the decimal base. So I'm gonna write it here. Decimal base. The name of a mathematical base is given by the number of symbols it contains. So I'm writing here the symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. If you count, there are 10 symbols. So everything we count, everything we calculate is based on these 10 symbols. Now, how do we translate that in digital electronics or in computing we use all the time, okay? We use something we call a digit. What is a digit? The digit is a figure. The digit is a figure, like this one here. Capable, capable to display all the symbols of the mathematical base. So if the mathematical base is the decimal, it's going to display all, starting with zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But obviously there are numbers bigger than nine. So what happens is this counting from zero to nine is what we call a full counting, a full cycle of counting, using all the symbols of the mathematical base we call decimal. So zero to nine, but because it's a full cycle ending with this, if we press again this button, if we press again the button, it's gonna restart from zero and it's gonna count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. How do we know how many cycles did we count already? we use a second digit. So, so far, I counted two full cycles, zero to nine. So I went zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I press it one more time, this one says, hey, you counted three complete cycles from zero to nine. And that's how we reach the number 30. So this is how do we count in decimal and how can we count? We call this a digit or a decimal figure if you want, but the decimal figure doesn't have necessarily to be a 16-segment uh, um, 16, 16 display like this one. It can be an Ixi tube. Yes, they are very old. They were put on the market somewhere around 1955. It doesn't matter. But if you take a look of how the numbers are going on, each of these tubes, they represent a digit. Why? Because the numbers they display, they go from zero, one, two, three, up to nine. So it's keeping counting zero, one, two, three, up to nine, meaning they are able to represent all the symbols of the mathematical base 10. And we can also, we can also use a uh, dot matrix display like this one. If you take a look, and I'm going to take the last figure here, it is able to pass through all the symbols of the mathematical base from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the next digit is going, or the next figure, is going to keep the count of how many full cycles did you pass on the first digit. So actually, it doesn't matter what kind of display do you use, a uh, dot matrix, a Nixie tube, a simple seven segment display or a 16 segment, it just won't matter. You have a figure representing all the symbols of the mathematical base, which is decimal. Now, do you think it is possible to stop the counting? To stop the counting, let's say at four, at five, or six, or seven, so preventing this digit to go fully from zero to nine? Of course we can. Remember uh, uh, my uh, previous video 
with the revolution counter for the computer fans, I was able to identify either fans with five blades or with seven blades. So I was stopping the counting for five blades or for seven blades. So in the same way, of course, it's going to be very easy to stop the counting if I want only to two figures, the zero and the one. Why the zero and the one? Simply because all the digital equipment and our computers are based on a simple fact, on a piece of wire, the easiest way, the easiest way to count is to say, I have a signal on this wire or I don't. And I associate these two situations like a switch on off to what mathematically happens. And I'm going to write it here. This is the binary base. Unlike the decimal, which contains nine, uh, 10 symbols, 0 to 9, the binary base only contains two symbols, 0 and 1. And everything adds here. So if it was a second digit here, it was 0 all the time because you didn't use it. If you use it again and you count, it's going to be again 0 or 1. Exactly like this one when you use it. Is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And if you use it again, it's going to be again 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Here is only going to be 0 or 1. But this was one full cycle. And again, if you have a second figure, it's going to keep the count. Hey, you had one full cycle. So next time you perform a cycle of 0 and 1, this one is going to become a 1. And these are going to be the equivalent, the equivalent, in what I know, the mathematical base 10, the decimal, they're going to be the 0 and the 1 and 2 and the 3. And so on, if I use this thing, which is called binary. So, here, you know now how to make a flat cable. We had a video about that. We know how to use a, an adapter for the uh, IDC connector to the breadboard is this one here. So when we connect it, we are going to have zero, zero. So if we have two figures here, it's like we use two LEDs, but it's a bit, let, uh, it is a bit less obvious with the LEDs. When the LED is off, you associate it to a zero. When the LED is on, you associate it to a one. So if I press this button now, if you watch the LEDs, 0, 0 was at the beginning because both of them were off. Now this is still off is 0. This is 1. Next, this is 1 and this is 0. And next, both of them are 1. And if I press it one more time, it's going to be 0 again. But because I was able to stop the seven segment display to count, it doesn't advance more than 1. You can see them here. So 0, 0 together with the, with the math, 0, 0. If I press it one more time, it's going to be 0 and 1. And this is a full cycle of counting on the figure on my right. We're going to call this later on the least significant figure. So this is counting already 0 and 1. It was the first cycle. This way, the second uh, uh, figure did the move. But if I use it again, 0 and 1, the second figure went one because it says, hey, you counted already one full cycle. Now you counted the second one, okay? Just because it's a demo, I limited the figures to two, so I won't count more than that. It's going to be one next time. But right now, these are going to be the equivalent in my decimal for zero, one, two, and three. And we're going to find out with the math later on how come this is true, okay? Right now, I'm just, I'm just keeping counting. So is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And if I do it again, it's going to be the same story. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So now, take a look how simple it is. I actually use here a digit because that figure is capable You've seen it in so many, uh, uh, so many times in so many videos. This figure is capable, theoretically, to count 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. So I'm using 
a digit. Exactly like this one. Don't need to, uh, uh, to recall that uh, uh, the digit we use in English is coming from the uh, Italian, the old Italian, uh, dieci, which is 10. So this is our binary base. So we use a digit, but we force this digit to do what? To only count two things, the binary. So it's a binary digit, okay? So the full digit we have, we limit the counting to two. It's a binary digit. So if I pick up the first two letters, by from binary, and the last letter from here, T, from digit, and I neglect all the rest, I put them together, and I have the bit. So we just found one technical name of uh, our unit to measure the data or data in computers. This is the bit. What is the bit? The binary digit. When I make a digit to count only 0 and 1. Only 0 and 1. It doesn't count 2, 3, 4, and so on anymore. Because if it, if it does, it's going to be decimal. Okay? That's the decimal base. It's not a binary. Okay? Binary is when it's counting 0 and 1 only. Okay? So, what is the bit? The binary digit. This is the unit to measure computing data. Next time, we're going to deal with the multiples of the bit, because the bit has multiples. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.